I'm Nigel Horsfall. I'm a professor here in the University of Victoria in the Department of Computer Science. My research interest has always been focused around making software execute more efficiently on the computer. And this means that I am intimately involved with uh, building compilers and in particular how to translate programming languages into efficient patterns of machine language. Um, but it hasn't always held my interest and so I have occasionally deviated and done other things like I've worked in virtual memory and I've worked in uh, data compression as little sidelines but I keep coming back to compilers. Well my latest work in compilers has been in conjunction with a PhD student who recently graduated and uh, we were focused on uh, how you could um, improve the quality of the code if all you knew was which portions of the code were hot and which portions were cold. And by hot we mean execute fairly frequently and cold we mean infrequently. The idea is that we try and move computations into the cold region of the program so that the results can be used in the hot region of the program and so reduce the amount of work that has to be repeated. I am uh, working on optimization of um, object-oriented programming languages but taking account of the fact that the um, program is being uh, executed by a virtual machine which can monitor the execution, discover on the fly which methods of a class I use very frequently and what parameter values are supplied for the, for the methods. And so by observing the execution of the program, we can then tailor the generated code so that it works very efficiently on that particular pattern of execution. And it's the way in which we can make a language like uh, Java or C Sharp execute more efficiently than the older competitors like C and C++. Because I'm a compiler person, I have to know all about the computer from the hardware levels all the way up to the high level programming language. I'm now teaching our assembly language course. It's a second year course here at UVic. We recently adopted a new architecture for the course. We picked something called the ARM processor. ARM is used in more than 50% of the world's cell phones. It's used in many, many small devices because of its simple design and its low power consumption. I developed a simulator for the ARM assembly language where you simply feed in the assembly language program and it gets assembled and executed for you as though it were running on an actual ARM processor but we're simulating it and we're just using an ordinary win uh, Windows operating system PC to do all the work for us. So this is what we use for introducing the ARM architecture in the course and after the students have become familiar with it, they're no longer getting error messages when they try and assemble their programs, we then move them onto the real hardware and at that point uh, they are doing some very interesting projects for the course. I was very interested in C Sharp as a language that came from Microsoft as a direct competitor to Java because um, C Sharp has got the benefit of a few more years of experience uh, with uh, a just-in-time compiled programming language. Um, so C Sharp um, was sufficiently exciting that with uh, a colleague in South Africa, uh, I wrote an introductory programming textbook and for this textbook I developed some software that's used in all the exercises in one of the chapters here and I really learned to, uh, to love the language. One of the roles that I accepted to take on just last year was to be editor of what is my most favorite journal in computer science. It's Software Practice and Experience and it's where I had my first big publication. Now this journal, Software Practice and Experience, focuses on how software is actually used. It contains lots of tips about developing good software practices. It contains lots of experience reports. It's where a lot of the most important papers in software have first been published. So for those of you who have heard about, for example, the Make program that was first published in SP&E. Um, for those of you who are interested in, um, in compiling, most of the initial important papers were published here. Operating systems were published here. Um, this journal just carries on from success to success and now I'm totally thrilled to be one of the two editors. <laughs>